what's up guys how you guys doing so yeah um so in this video here what i'll be doing is i'll basically be showing you guys how to make a uh, um that heavy k type of beat you know so i've been getting a, a lot of requests um, from people like inboxes and stuff emails people asking me to basically make a video on how to make a track like heavy k um so due to my low ram and stuff like i've got a very really small ram like one gig as i always tell you guys um yeah, I, I noticed that it, it tends to freeze a lot and i can't play the track so what i'll do is i'll just basically go over the instrumentation of the whole thing and then i'll i'll like i'll, I'll just explain the different instruments and and then after that i'll export this this mini track here um and then and then play it back to you guys on virtual dj so that you can see it you know and you can see the different parts as well you know so that you don't think i'm lying to you and stuff but anyway so let's jump to it so um well firstly um it's not it's not an easy thing to explain it's not a very easy style to explain because the, the the basic beat that makes a heavy k that makes that makes heavy k and defines basically heavy k style it's it's this beat here you know it's it's this one here and i'll show you the main sequence of it that you need and the main sequence that you need is this one you basically need to lay out your your precautions like this you know your claps, your hats, your shakers, everything needs to pretty much have the same layout. Obviously, it's not the same for everything, you know. Heavy K is good at what it does. So, obviously, twist it around. It does some nice fancy tricks and stuff like that. But, you know, to kickstart you, to kickstart you, to get that background, basic beat of the whole thing, and to get the gist of what's happening, you need to have this particular layout like this, exactly as is. Don't worry about the length of these things. It doesn't matter. It can be any length, you know. So don't pay attention to that. Just make sure that you have it like that, there, 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 and there, and then do the same thing, etc. And then basically from there on, once you've got that sequence, you then use that to basically make your track, you know. And you then compile a whole lot of sounds together to using the same sequence as this one, and then you just paste and paste and paste and paste, and then you just adjust the volumes correctly to base to basically make sure that um they sound proper together you know they sound like heavy case um style of beats you know so i'll play you guys this this year i'll play it out for you um when, when i play the track i can't play on, on, on thing on the first video because it's just going to freeze up but anyway yeah so what you have is you have a clap like that um you have okay so i don't know if you heard that but let me do this so that's pretty much a clap and then you've got a shaker there and another one here and then you've got that there and like you don't need all of these sounds you know you don't need all of them you just need to get as as many like the, the closest similar ones as as you can and then just compile them all together and then just layer them together and then they will sound like heavy k type of style so the main ones that i'll say you need would be the clap the shaker um you need this one you know that sound there that type of sound you need um you need this you need that type of sound there as well you know and once you have those sounds those sounds then you're good then you can just add others as well which are basically percussions to make to basically add to the track and to you know make the track sound more like heavy case type of style so yeah so let me see so what else and then on top of that now you need um you need this sound here so okay no so th these are basically keys you know uh, okay, I don't know what's happening, but basically these are keys As you can hear so those are just keys so I made up like simple chords there And that's all I did and you need those sometimes, you know He usually has those like during his breaks like if it if he's got vocals on his tracks Like you, you get like those keys and you might get strings as well, which come in um, I've got them there. Those are the strings right there strings and then so the strings are basically the same i use the same chords as the, as, the, as 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 for the keys you know so yeah and then what i did um then you need you need this you need this particular sound here you need this sound here this sound is what defines it's one of those defining sounds in heavy case style you know it's it's this sound here so once you combine that sound with the rest of the beats it sounds it definitely sounds like heavy k it definitely sounds like something heavy k would make and you'll hear that when when i actually when when i play the track for you guys once i've exported it 
and then um, and that's it and then um, this basically sounds like this this basically um, it, it, it it's like it sounds like this I can't describe it, it sounds like this so you get that dip behind it and then uh, and oh yeah and then you need this sound you need this so this sound here timbre whatever it is sounds like this you get it so yeah so like you you basically hear all these sounds once i'm once i'm once i've exported the track and i'm playing it out for you guys i know right now it probably sounds like uh nothing like heavy k but like let me just export the sound the track the full track okay it's not that full because it's just a quick track but what i did is i've got pattern one there which is this one so that you can see then i've got that sound which i told you this one here then i've got oh yes oh yeah i forgot and then you need you need um you need a sound that's going to basically create your melody you know a sound that's just going to stick out and be this this distinct like in the whole in the whole track you know so that's the sound here so this one it's all on you from here on you can choose whatever sound you want it can be any sound you want you know so there's no rule as to what which sound it is that you use and then here it's the keys then it's the strings then it's the break and then it's the keys alone and then it's that distinct sound then it's the strings Ka -ka 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 -ka. Go, go, go. comes back the full track right there that's all that's happening so let me export let me pause the video let me export the track and then i'll play it back for you guys on virtual dj okay all done so i've basically exported the track and um as you can see there's the track right there and this is the actual track itself there on virtual dj so i i want to play it on virtual dj so that i can show you guys the different parts and you can see like where basically the changes where like when I was on the playlist you know so yeah so let me just play the track back for you guys and you, and you basically hear like how it actually sounds like heavy k in my opinion in my opinion might i add so you might have a different opinion and think that it doesn't sound like heavy k i did my best and i think it does sound like heavy k um i got a request that i should actually share the fop of this so i'll, I'll think about that i'll see if i do share the fop or not you know um let's let's play the track though I think I made a mistake of some sort. Let me hear. Okay, never mind. It's all. It's all there. So usually here you'd have like the vocalist singing and stuff like that. That's what Heavy K usually does. Um, obviously you'd have the vocalist singing on, on the whole track, you know, but like I'm just specifying on this part here. And then, this, and then the strings come back again. So this is what it usually does. It brings the strings back.
so yeah man so that's that's how i made it that's that's the heavy k type of beat that i made um you guys let me know you know in the comment section if you think it sounds anything like the style that heavy k does or maybe i just need to go back in studio and rework the whole thing but uh that's what I, that's what i could do that i did my best there um yeah man hopefully you guys found this very helpful yeah like subscribe comment facebook twitter soundcloud follow all the jersey shop shop buffets